Hey everyone, I wanted to share a technique with you on unwrapping UVs for complex shapes like a rope. These can be a little tricky and uh, can be kind of time consuming if you kind of approach it by uh, more uh, typical methods of maybe doing like an automatic uh, projection and then coming back in here and trying to uh, put these back together. Um, I'm going to just undo that. So the method I'm going to show you is uh, pretty simple. There's just a couple steps involved and it works on most uh, cylindrical shapes uh, that have been twisted around like this and shaped and things like hair as well if you're using polygons. So um, I'm going to just make this selection here I'm going to hit 6 to bring up hardware texturing. You can take a look at what my UVs look like right now. So this was just a duplicate of that. Okay, so I'm just going to select this one here, isolate it with Control 1. It's the same as Show Isolate Select right here. Okay, and then I'm just selecting it as a object right now. You'll see it up over here. And I'm going to come under Modify unitize. Okay, so what that did is it just took each one of the polygon faces and cut it and then it stacked them all up here in the 0 to 1 space. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is select our seam. So I'm going to edge and I'm just going to select down the center here for demonstration purposes. Um, I would probably select something back here away from camera. But for now I'm just going to use this. And then you'll also notice I don't have any caps up here. I have removed them. We do want to select the edges up here, so I'm just sh shift uh, double clicking. And then we're going to take this edge selection right here and turn it into a UV selection by holding down control, right mouse click. And if you're on a Mac it's command, right mouse click. And then there's a selection, two UVs, two UVs. Okay, so you can see that turned into a UV selection there. I'm going to go back to 5, see that a little better. And then we want to reverse that, so I'm going to hold down Shift, drag a marquee. That's going to reverse the selection. And what we're going to do now is move and sew these together. So under Modify, uh, actually under Cut and Sew, we're going to go down to Move and Sew. Alright, so it just took each one of those faces and moved and sewed them together. Okay, so what we want to do now is drag a marquee over all of the UVs and come under Modify. Down here towards the bottom, Unfold, Option Box. So by default, the Unfold 3D is usually on. We want to actually use Legacy. So I'm going to stick with Horizontal. If yours came out in a more vertical direction, then switch to Vertical. Then you want to come down to Apply and Close. Okay, so there it is, just backing out there. I'm going to go back to my hardware texturing, 6 on the keyboard. Uh, if you don't have uh, a texture on here as I do, you can just use the checker box up here. And then I'm going to scale down uniformly. And you should see those coming in right there. Okay, and I'm actually going to rotate this over here under the transform. We've got our tools here for rotate, and it's 90 degrees. I'm just going to go counterclockwise once to get this running in uh, this direction here so we can read our letters a little better. And there's the seam right there, so I'm just going to back that out a little bit. Okay, and the seam's not perfect, uh, of course, so usually you have to come in and use a, a 3D paint program like 3D Coat or Substance Painter to blend your edges together. Or if you're using Photoshop, then hide them on the back over here, away from camera. And I'm just going to come back to Object and Deselect, and you should be able to see how that looks. Alright, so hopefully that is useful and uh, you can apply that to your own models.